of my first experiences where I had this realization that I actually was going to use the NIF laser. Um, I was walking up um, to the view room where you can see the amplifiers. And those amplifiers are huge. And I just had this moment where I looked down on them and thought, oh my gosh, I, get, like, I can't believe I get to use this. Our Discovery Science program at NIF offers outside users access to the world's largest laser to create conditions that can only be achieved on NIF or in the interiors of planets and stars. We have a number of teams who are already shooting NIF, carrying out experiments that have never been done before. And here at the NIF Laser, our scientific staff are very excited to be working with them. The NIF is a, uh, the largest laser in the world, so it can create a very large volume of interesting plasmas. For us, it needs to be very dense and, and cool, relatively. And so NIF is the only place where we can generate that plasma. NIF is the only facility where we can achieve the conditions of temperature and pressure, taking matter to a billion atmospheres. It's the only facility internationally where we can do that. Right, so the goal of these experiments is to uh, basically to take a picture of a specific type of shock that happens around supernovas, uh, but to do it in our lab using protons. So with this experiment, what we would like to create is a very long acceleration for planar target. And when doing so, we expect to enter in novel regime of hydrodynamic instability. So walking into the National Ignition Facility control room is kind of like looking at NASA's control room. It's really intimidating. They have these huge screens everywhere. Um, and you really get a sense of the experiment you're working on is, is really on one of the best lasers, if not the best laser in the world. So seeing our work come to life on the National Ignition Facility, it's just, it's incredibly rewarding, not only for myself, but for our entire team. The outside users coming to NIF almost always are bringing new ideas, new science, new diagnostic techniques that we don't currently have, and so we benefit greatly by working with them. So if we can get to the point where about half of our users coming in each time are new, new in terms of people and new in terms of ideas, exploding stars, colliding galaxies, and then your imagination just runs wild because you realize you're actually exploring the science of the universe. I mean, it's just like there's, there's no limit.